Hello and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. In our last video, I showed you how to run DeepSeq R1 locally on Jetson Nano. Following to that, I got a lot of comment, people asking me how's the hardware performance looks like, should we buy Jetson Nano or we should go ahead and buy other models. I want to put a full disclaimer, I bought this Jetson Nano way back and it was not doing much for me because I am not doing any uh, many open CV project. And if you're watching this in 2025, you should probably go ahead and buy Jetson Orion, which is roughly 250 bucks. Jetson Nano, you may not get the new Jetpack update and etc. So, but still, okay if you happen to own one like me. All right. In this video, we are going to focus on performance while running RAG or DeepSeq R1 locally and there is an inbuilt tool within NVIDIA that is called JTOP. Yes, here you can see I have instructions how to install JTOP. First, you need to make sure that you have Python installed because we are going to use pip package to install Jetson-stats. That is the program that give you JTOP. Once you do that, you need to reboot your machine to take this effect. And after that, we can simply run JTOP. So let's go ahead and see what is JTOP. Let me minimize this thing here. And I'm going to put two windows back to back. And first, we will start our Olama or DeepSeek. And if you haven't watched the video, uh, please go and watch that video. It's really interesting. So what I'm saying, I'm saying Olama run verbose DeepSeek R1 1.5 billion parameter. So it's starting the DeepSeek R1 program. Once we have this program running, we are going to ask a few questions and get th this thing going. And at the same time, we are going to go ahead and watch the performance. All right, so it is ready. It is asking that, okay, I'm, I'm ready. You can go ahead and ask me questions. I'm going to ask some sample questions because this is a reasoning module. I want to challenge him or her for reasoning questions. And these are, all sample questions so okay question accepted it is thinking and here it is reasoning what we will do at the same time we are going to go to the next window and kick start our program jtop perfect so you can see it's back to back running i'll shift my focus to the left side of the window jtop window and let you familiarize what all we are seeing here here this is the first tab is all that is the overview page and here you can see we have uh, four cores, one, two, three, four, and then the, how memory utilization is happening, and our GPU, how busy it is. You can see the GPU flux, the fluctuating here, and all the programs, right? And then we have the fan information, clock speed, etc., etc. Okay, so this is a nice snapshot, basically. And then we have individual tabs for GPU, CPU, memory, and uh, peripheral performance. We'll go. To them one by one but let's first spend a minute here model nvidia jetson nano developer kit and jetpack is 466 i happened to upgrade it yesterday and we cannot mind it we cannot get above 4.6 with nano and we have four cores they are all 1.5 gigahertz fan speed you can see memory utilization and gpu especially i want to highlight the gpu performance how it is going okay then we have hardware engines and all the sensor temperature. Temperature is running a little hard today. And then the power. I'm I'm powering up using a 5-volt adapter, but I really want to use a DC power adapter, which I have to uh, order one. Let's go to GPU tab. Here you can see a nice graph of GPU utilization in real time. And GPU shared RAM. GPU uses not that much. Pretty reasonable. Go, let's go to CPU. Here you can see we have this is this is pretty okay. All cores are busy. Finally, our RAM utilization. We have four GB of RAM, and then finally this various sensors. Here you can see other sensors, control, temperature control, fan, etc. All this information you can see here. And finally, this is an info tab about the system. What is your platform? What libraries you are running? As you can see, we have TensorRT, we have CUDA. I have not installed OpenCV with CUDA uh, because I do not plan to do any OpenCV project on Jetson Nano and then the model, etc. etc. Finally, we can go ahead and say quit. That's it for JTOP. 
However, our model is still busy thinking and uh, reasoning our question. Obviously, this is a question which can be debated all day long, but we are not going to hang in here to let this complete the answer. This is good enough. This is all I just wanted to show you quick, real quick. Go ahead, use your JTOP, and you can monitor the system performance in real time. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.